आजादी का अमृत महोत्सव आजादी का सफर विद ए आई आर न्यूज बर्थ ऑफ अ नेशन इंडिया ग्लोरियस फ्रीडम स्ट्रगल इज वन ऑफ द ग्रेटेस्ट स्ट्रगल द मॉडर्न वर्ल्ड इज एवर विटनेस्ड ए आई आर न्यूज ब्रिंग्स यू अ ग्लिम्स ऑफ दिस स्ट्रगल एवरी डे In today's episode we remember freedom fighter Yusuf Mihar Ali who died on the 2nd of July 1950 Yusuf Mihar Ali is credited with giving the slogans Simon go back and quit India Simon go back Simon go back Simon go back Yusuf Mihar Ali was born on the 23rd of September 1903 he founded the National Militia Bombay Youth League and the Congress Socialist Party and played a role in several peasant and trade union movements he also took part in the protests against the Simon Commission he took part in the Quit India movement and was imprisoned he was elected mayor of Bombay in 1942 while he was imprisoned in Yerawada Central Prison A notable writer Yusuf Ali is credited with writing Leaders of India The Price of Liberty and Underground Movement The nationalist leader continued to work for the people until his death in 1950 AIR News salutes the great Indian We also remember freedom fighter Bakht Khan who was appointed general of the Hindustan Army of Bahadur Shah Zafar on the 2nd of July 1857 a resident of Bareilly Uttar Pradesh Khan was initially working as a subedar in the artillery of the British Indian Army He left the British service during the first war of Indian independence in 1857 and joined the independence activists at Bareilly He became a brigadier of the activists in Bareilly and made arrangements for arms and ammunition In June 1857 he marched towards Delhi along with his followers Bakht Khan reached Delhi on the 2nd of July 1857 and was welcomed by Bahadur Shah Zafar who called him Farzan and appointed him as the commander in chief with the title general Bakht Khan reorganized the army in Delhi gave them 6 months advance salary and ordered them to maintain strict discipline he also played a key role in forming the administrative council called Jalsa e Fauji va Mulki to maintain law and order in Delhi Although he succeeded in ousting the British forces from various strongholds in Delhi, he lost in the Battle of Najafgarh on 25th of August 1857. Bakht Khan left Delhi after its fall to the British in September 1857, but continued to fight the British in Lucknow and Rohilkhand. After the uprising was suppressed, Bakht Khan escaped towards Nepal and was reported to have been killed there in action in 1859. AIR News salutes the great freedom fighter. We also remember Martha Savan who took part in the first war of independence in 1857 in Gujarat. Savan highlighted the cruelties of the British and inspired his neighbors to raise their arms to overthrow the foreign rule. He was captured by the British and charged with sedition and rebellion against the company rule. Savan was sentenced to imprisonment for life with labor in irons. He died in captivity on the 2nd of July 1859 in the Andaman Islands. We salute the brave son of the soil. We also remember martyrs Dodhai, Bhagwan and Sahdev, residents of district Gorakhpur, Uttar Pradesh, who were sentenced to death on the 2nd of July 1923. During the non-cooperation movement, the British police of Chori Chora Thana opened fire on the peaceful protesters in the area, causing deaths and injuries to many. When the police ran out of ammunition and found the gathering infuriated by the firing, they retreated and hid themselves inside the police station. A few infuriated activists sprayed kerosene oil on the building and set it on fire, killing all the 23 policemen inside. Dodhai, Bhagwan and Sehdev were among the accused and were convicted for taking part in the Chori Chora case. They were sentenced to death and hanged on the 2nd of July 1923. 
All India Radio News salutes the brave sons of the soil. That brings us to the end of this episode of Azadi Ka Safar with AIR News. See you in the next episode tomorrow. <laughs>